Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. This will truly be the final episode of my Arata Level 3 reassessment. Let's get into it. One year ago, I did my Arata Level 3 reassessment in Poland at Go Ropes. Go Ropes is a great training institute where they provide GDLBO, Arata, and all kinds of medic first aid and all the good stuff. My trainer was Lukas, right here on screen. And we had a big group, we had 14 people, three trainers, level ones, twos, and threes, everybody together, but each level working in their own little uh, area or they're doing their own exercises, no interference whatsoever. Resets were very quick for the rescues, a very good place to go and get trained, very knowledgeable staff. This video I filmed on the day after my assessment, after I passed, thankfully, and I wanted to talk about all the gear I used in my assessment. Uh, however, there was an assessment going on in the background, which made it kind of challenging and, and didn't feel comfortable talking in my normal tone of voice or my normal loudness, so I was a little bit uh, yeah, subdued and uh, my microphone stopped working. So I was trying to get my AirPods to function as a microphone, but that did not work. So I asked around, people wanted to see what I was doing and what I have to say. So I will run the video. I tried to put on subtitles, which are not perfect, but I hope you get the gist of it. And uh, yeah, short, sweet video about all the gear I used in my level three reassessment. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the gear I used in this uh, assessment all the week. And on a certain day, I guess you have a new video. I'm speaking a little bit subdued because there is a certain day. I'm back on it. I'm back on it. So I think this is good. I don't know. So first thing helps. Are you complaining with the eye of Viking? that had integrated just a sender and it was not integrated but using uh, rock and I don't know the model or the name which I'm using. This is different minus than what I had. I had a square play on repeat and here as one has the open between open and bottom. And then calculalize. I was able to teach with uh, what I would call like a So it's one long cow tail. Barrel knots at the ends. Uh, this is the middle of the cow tail. And then just to isolate it, sh shorten it a little bit. I strike the uh, overhand off. And it's a uh, right up to my ring. So these are the main cow stills. I also had so it was luxury. We we are here to pass the assessment and not have a hard time. So I even had a almost just like right now it's being expected. I was connected to the main earring as well with a small repeat. And it just makes life a lot easier in some questions just to make sure that it goes. But backup wise, I was experimenting. I had a client with it for a long time, uh, a rocker type device. So this is the Presto rocker. I used to, uh, I still have a singing rock locker. And there's multiple different brands and that make a similar kind of device. So the, it needs to be a test with a short sling to the top gearing, of course. And this one is really easy when you want to ascend quickly because the road slides through real easy. On the way down, you have to manage it a little bit it's in the right position so it slides down. But if you have get that right, you can go down pretty fast. No, I never really descend very fast because so many people. So far, so good. If you want to support the channel, help me get better microphones that do not die, then you can head over to patreon.com and become a patron. Patreon is a site where you 
support creators. It's fairly easy to sign up. You uh, pledge $3 or $3.50 or 3 euros per video I release and charge for. And sometimes there are early releases, but with my work schedule, it's not always possible to do that. The other ways to uh, support the channel is uh, head over to Ko-fi uh, slash the Rope Access channel and you can buy me a one-time coffee. And another way to support the channel is hit that super thanks and slide that slider to what amount of money you feel my videos are worth. So that would be well appreciated. Thank you for your support. On with the video. Like and subscribe. Uh, second bet of course is that rock, which I have to make a good spare winner. Uh, and on assessment day, I used two ASAP blocks. During training, I had these two, and on assessment day, I used three ASAP blocks because this is often very useful. And I found I had to uh, monitor this a little bit more than ASAP and I want to pass assessment and not have my time. So I took two ASAP blocks because they were available. All right, December wise, I came in. That's from, I was really lucky because, as you might, might know, I don't know if it's really released yet, but I'm testing out the Edward Megawatt and they have to do it down there as well. And so I did my full week on this as my main sender. I have not used a brief or an ID on me version. And I liked it a lot. It's easy in road to road transfers and changing over, tactics you can. Go left handed or right handed or even on purpose, like great uh, mechanic function, push the left. It works really well if you have a two person boat and you get the extra friction. It's a smooth descent, so I like it for that. And the few days I used, I played around with the experiment as well this week. I had used a spark before, this is serious, but the spark. So that was my second descent uh, when I need one. And for most situations, we didn't need one because we were rescuing a gummy smoke and they were most of them were food or quick. So then I used whatever they had. Uh, but again, during the assessment, I just had a second piece of the So much people have a spare in sand graphics over there. If you put yourself in a situation you do not want to be in, then you have the option to like use the system as a backup or so it says options and good thing for but in the series is you do not need an extra friction carry to do this mode. And that was new to me and I like it how it works. But for me the reason I don't have to go, I still have to think about it, but it's the opposite direction of what I'm used to. So I did I choose on assessment and on assessment I took two megawatts. Assessment was yesterday and I can't slide away. Happy another three years. In the books, there are three things. And of course, we need to articulate. I just have the basic, uh, basic pencil ascension with the uh, foot core, the white one. But basically, uh, that's being used right now in the assessment. So, this is for example, I did have a set of I had this one, and that's the spare one, so I needed to eight time. Uh, and some other stuff there, it might help me. So my main, like all the other videos and the video up there, I want you to use on it. Uh, the main report I use in the two tables, my backup. Alright. And of course, the data is a little free part of every situation. The best way to do things are the free people. They, they are good two meters, it's too short than five meters. Perfect <laughs> length. Uh, wow. so you can always put your dummy side on and it's short and Or create a little bit of free to run. It's not a free to run, but the sort of mechanical things. If you stop the side middle of it, you get double deviation, rescue. No hassle with double descent, so you just put yourself in the case and you're, you're set. So that was the most my basic climbing is this did not live here, it didn't just live here. Right? So then I had for the rest of these on my back, I used to carry it here. Now I used to grab it on the side. So first thing that I always carry assessments is this. 
I call it the rescue set. For this one, short term of the casualty. There's an extra leaf and there's a push that is prepared here for my treatment. There are 50 percent leaf with the two person boat. So I know I'll be rescuing. I can clip this in here and this moves straight up into the beach and I'm, I'm set to go. So it lowers the chance of you getting that friction. Plus, it's an extra pair of scenarios for breaking other kinds of scenarios. Okay. Well, I carried something different, but the principle is the same. I had a wall clip, the one that opens, uh, the, the non locking wall clip, and I had a bit of basics. I wrote right I thought this one would do too. That is to build some sort of little mechanical advantage. That you can use in many situations, and I combine that with a rubric software, only block, the smallest kind of swivels. And I have this on the harness, and with this, I know with everything I carry here right now, I can form, I can even break it through my book. I don't need anything to do with any of it. Knowing that this lives on my harness, if I get an assignment that says go to uh, the whole of the text and install in the A time and install them in the short term, that's one of the rescues, all of the test install them in the short term. Here I severe rescue from short and come down price notes. I know all I, I basically I don't need to take anything except those. I have everything I need. To make myself my life easy, because it's an easy lift and an extra uh, asset for like a rescue bag. Always have a sort of a basic rescue bag uh, prepared, so that makes it easy for me. I don't have to go to the bus and know what's in there. There, just, uh, there, there would be a question there and an asset. And maybe this instead of the basic. But it's just options and make yourself don't make a part of the That's the assessment of having a hard time in training, that's the front book. The table is the table assessment. So this lives on the back too. Right now it's a lot bigger, but if you bring it to a high assessment, it's So let's go, let's hear I'm missing one thing. Uh, we had a lot of course, and I had a content right, like the uh, food ascender, but uh, it's even this right now, so I can show you. So, what did I think about it here? This harness reminds me of the old fashioned manual, and I still say, that's the best harness ever made. I don't know if it is, maybe it's just in, when we remember the times like that, it's in the back. But uh, this one, Feels nice, it's the least bit of time. It's, it's not as restrictive. You can move them freely. I like the fact that you can tighten it in three. You can actually make something like you can sit back. It's very. Right. That was my idea.